Trend Channels is a very powerful and useful feature in Ornitrix that creates data which can be flowed and used throughout the operator stack. If you scroll through some of the procedural operators in Ornitrix, you can see that many parameters have a channel value next to different properties. This channel value is a drop-down where you can select a channel to control this value and act as a multiplier for the global value that you specify above. So the same way if I go to freeze, for example, the amount has a strand channel value and the group has a strand channel value as well as many other parameters throughout Ornatrix. So how do you create and use these channels? There are various ways to create channels in Ornatrix and we will go over them separately in different videos. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will find a quick way to create and use the channels by using the surface com operator. So if I go and at some low point in my stack, for example, right above the hair from guides operator, I can add a surface com operator. And when I select it, I can enter the sync editor mode over here and I will change the algorithm to triangulation. And because we don't really want to affect the shape of the strands, but we only want to create a strand channel and assign it values, we will uncheck the shape and the direction option here and we will check the strand data option here. So this is basically telling the surface com operator that we will only want to export strand channel data without affecting anything else about our hair. So next thing is I want to create some sinks. I will, I will create one over here and then I will create one over here maybe and a third sink somewhere around here. The placement of the sinks will decide which position along the hair you want the values to change. So each sink will have a different strand channel value and these values will be interpolated along the hair between those sinks, just like when you're creating a surface comb to affect strand shapes. Now, if I scroll below here, you can find the strand data dropdown. And in here, the channel is unassigned, which is fine. This just means that we want to create a new channel and we will set the new channel name to sync values and maybe increase the maximum value over here to something like five. And the minimum value will live at zero. Basically, what this means that uh, it will find all the sinks on our hair and for the shortest sink, it will use the minimum value and for the longest sink, it will use this maximum value. Now, if I go somewhere above of my surface com operator in the stack, for example, this freeze operator over here and uh, I find its amount channel. If I click this dropdown, I can now see our sync values channel present as an option inside this dropdown. If I select this, I can see that we have freeze applied differently in different parts of the hair. So let's go back to our surface comb operator and exit the sync editor so that, that we can edit the sinks and see exactly how this affects our frizz. So I will select this sync over here and I will find its tip and select its tip. And because the de default option here, the uh, sync data mode is sync size, it will use the tip length to calculate uh, the value of our channel. So if I increase this tip, you can see that we are increasing uh, the freeze amount. If I decrease, we are decreasing the freeze amount. So maybe we'll uh, leave this value large here. And for this sync over here, we will select its tip and we will make it shorter to decrease its, uh, its freeze amount. And this one here, we will also make it uh, a bit shorter to decrease its freeze amount. And also maybe now I want the sink to be repositioned somewhere else along the base surface. So you can see how this is very useful if you have a lot of hair and you want to specify areas where you want varying results for different operators. So if I adjust my uh, maximum channel value over here, I'm also adjusting how much frizz I am applying to my hair. Similarly, I can go to any other operator, uh, for example, change width. I can assign the same channel to the uh, width of the hair. So I can set it to sync values. And you see how the sync, which is very short, now has zero hair width. And the other sinks are setting the hair width to be pretty wide over here. So now using this one surface comb operator and using these sinks, we are essentially controlling both the frizz and the width of the hairs. Of course, you can add multiple surface comb operators and maybe to organize it better, you can double click to rename this. For example, um, we can change to frizz 
and width values. The name of this operator is going to be freeze, freeze and width values. And um, I can have as many operators that I want, controlling as many channels as I want to make a really flexible, non-destructive procedural hair stacks.